Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to take a look at the new Topaz Photo AI update. This is version 1.3.9. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Cully. Thank you for joining me again today. Well, what's new in Topaz Photo AI in version 1.3.9? Well, we're going to take a look at that today. This will be a shorter video. So let's get started. These are the changes since version 1.3.8. You could pause the video and kind of read everything here. I'm not going to read everything, but here's the biggest change. Remove noise models are now out of beta. Strong is now extreme. Normal version 2 and strong version 2 are now just normal and strong. And now for Windows users, the app should now block the computer sleeping while processing on your Windows machine. So that's good news. Now let's observe the changes from 1.3.8 to 1.3.9. And now remember, this is dealing with the remove noise module. Now there's actually two remove noise modules. There's the basic remove noise module for any type of a file like JPEGs, TIFFs, or whatever. And we also have a raw remove noise module, which is dedicated to raw files only. But first, let's look at the old version 1.3.8 removed noise. Now you'll notice you had normal, normal version 2, strong, and strong version 2. Well, normal version 2 and strong version 2 are now out of beta. So in this new noise remove module, you'll notice we only have normal and strong. But also take note in the remove noise module, we also have extreme. Now that's only in the basic remove noise module, not in the raw remove noise module. In the raw remove noise module, we have normal and strong only. Okay, then according to Topaz, strong is now extreme. So it looks like strong hasn't changed. It's now extreme. But the normal version 2 beta and strong version 2 beta are now the new normal and strong models. Now let me point this out to avoid confusion. This only holds true for the remove noise module and not the raw remove noise module. Okay, so now you know what has changed in 1.3.9. And now let me give you an observation and a tip and we will be done. The observation uh, is concerning when you zoom in and out of your image. Now whenever you zoom into your image, for instance, let's go to say like zoom to 800%. You'll notice it really updates itself very quickly, as you can see right there. And now if I go to say like 200%, when you have a larger zoom size, it's a, it's a quicker render. But here's my observation. Whenever you've rendered the image with the autopilot setting, and then if you go back between zoom levels, for instance, if I go to say, fit which i originally started out with fit do you see how quick that was you didn't even see any rendering there or now if i would change this to say 800 percent, you can see it's immediately right there or if i go back to say like 100 percent, you can see it's rendered immediately so after it does its initial autopilot rendering then whenever you switch between those zoom levels you're going to find out that it doesn't have to re-render all over again now, of course, if you move to a different location, it's going to have to go ahead and do the whole rendering process. But again, after this renders, I'll show you. Let me go back to 800%. It's sharpening right now, but just give it a second here. After it's done, I'll go to 800%, like right now. Let me go to 800%. Now, it's going to have to render there because I moved the position. But watch when I go back to 100%. It's right there. You see that? It doesn't have to render again. So that's my observation. After it does its initial rendering, whenever you switch between different zoom levels that you've already been on, you will not have to see that all render out again. So that's an improvement. And that's not only for autopilot settings, but if you change settings here and you move to a different position, again, you'll have to wait for the initial render. But then if you change it to a different zoom level and then come back to one, that you've zoomed in already, you won't have to wait for that to render out. And now for a tip, and this is really cool. If you right click on any image, you're gonna get this dialogue that comes up. Like you can click here and apply autopilot settings or autopilot to all or current settings to all, which is really cool. Or you could click open images 
and it opens up your file browser. I'm just going to click cancel so you can add more images. Or if you right click again, you can close all images. Or if you want to see where this image is located, you can click on show and finder, which is really helpful when you'll know where that image is located. Let me X out of here. And then lastly, you can close just one image here. Okay, so let me click close. And it says you want to save it. And I'm just going to say don't save. And now that image is closed and now another image comes up. So that's kind of cool. So remember that you can right click and you have a lot of options available to you. Well, there it is, everyone. That's the new update for Topaz Photo AI version 1.3.9. Hey, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see all of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.